Welcome to EHO, and uh, welcome to today's Operation Sentinel. Playing a one life operation here on Squad Ops, I'm B Carr. Going to be giving you guys the commentary for today. Ooh, actually. There may be... I don't know if there's real stencils or not. I don't know. We'll figure it out in a second. Anywho. Sentinel is a... Uh, is crazy. Sentinel is nuts. Sentinel is what we call one of our stoplights. Missions. Uh, stoplight operations. Where... Russia will have three tasks that they can choose uh, and they can choose any of them, but the militia uh, forces are going to be starting in the same places regardless. So the three missions on the map, red is a defend mission, yellow is a patrol mission, and green is an ambush mission. And I'll split you up. Uh, Headbuster, you're going to be Bravo. And Inky, you'll be Charlie. Right. So like I said earlier, the Russians are up to something. We don't know what. So it's going to be very hairy. Because we could... Our job is to move to the southeast to about Lima 8, that town there. There's going to be some vehicles. If there are, we're going to take them. But... We could run into Russians on patrol. We could run into an ambush. So we're just going to move kind of slow and carefully, but not too slow and carefully. Otherwise, they start yelling at me. We're all in touch with uh, Bravo for now. So, okay, you got fire team split up. So, FTLs, you know, keep your binos out, stick to cover, you know, or concealment. Don't explode, you know, don't go running in the middle of an open field unless you're sure, you know, you're pretty safe, it's clear. Uh, keep your ears open. You might hear vehicles. Any questions? Does the opposition have any armored vehicles? Or just... Uh, I hope not, because we don't have a lot. It, so. it depends It depends on which mission you're taking. They right. get a BTR. Or a Tiger. So if they, if they have a BTR, we're going to hide. Because we have absolutely nothing that hurts a BTR. But if you see a tiger, shoot the gunner. Bada -bum, bada -bam. Yeah. If you, if you see a tiger, shoot the gunner. See a BTR, hide. Um, also, it's... I want you guys to stay alive and have fun. I don't want us getting killed, but we just don't know what the Russians are up to. Also, also heads up. Uh, and this is obviously, since we don't know what the okay. Russians are up to, this is going to be a very fluid op. Like, there's, that's basically all I have for now. That's because that's all commands given us. Because we're going to figure Drive. it out once we. Once we can figure it out. Also, guys, if they have the tiger, it means they have like the full fire support thing. So they're gonna have a lot of MGs and ARs. I just lost Ronan, damn it. No All right. Oh, we just caught the briefing, so we're gonna go ahead and listen to the Decrim's briefing. We have been tasked in this area to, on our daily patrol, to clear out uh, points of interest as per usual. So we're going to be clearing out the locations. Uh, you guys can see the yellow markers, right? I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody yeah. nod. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. So you can see there the yellow uh, pickup and locations: one at Lima Six Two, one at Golf Ten, and one at Golf Twelve. Y'all see those? Those are our objectives. We must clear out those areas. In order to do that, we're going to be using a platoon size uh, formation and movement. From here, we're going to be moving up to our uh, up to the main MSR, in which we will be maneuvering in an arrowhead formation. What this will look like is Squad Three, that is Cartel Squad, will be taking point with Squad Four, Stevo. Squad Three will be taking the north side, and Squad Four the south, shown on our little diagram. And then Squad Two will be in the pocket. They will be the ones who will actually go down and 
clear and place our um, radio equipment for those those friendlies in the area. Squad six is going to be covering our rear security and helping with suppress a fire. At the same time, Reva and Squad five will be supporting us from a distance with Tiger vehicles. We ex uh, though this is a common occurrence, we expect today may be a little bit different. The militia are in the area somewhere. We may take contact at any time from any direction, so please keep your eyes out. Uh, so, as we continue on the path, we may find that new obstructions or uh, loose foliage may be the case, may come up. In that case, we will move off of the road, but otherwise we'll continue onto the road till about Foxtrot 8 on the APC marker, where we will then move in, the, in a similar platoon formation down to the south, to the last location. At which point we will defend uh, that location from any militia like uh, actions. Worst case scenario, uh, we get there and we're able to defend and do this back reverse tomorrow. Does anyone have any questions? So we're taking out Lima 6 first? Yes, we'll be going to Lima 6 first. Copy. Any other questions? What? All right, yeah, cells, break them out for life. Why are we taking the road instead of the woods? Golf 1087. Oh, we're live. We're going to go ahead and follow these guys in. So there's going to be an element on foot and then an element in vehicles. The element in vehicles is somewhere else. Elite, you and Phil are together. Is it better now? Yeah, Spitfire's already fucking. Well, I suppose. So sensible. One bullet is gonna kill us. Formation right as we get out here. Yep. We're probably not gonna take contact for a little bit, so let's get it right the first, so we know what we're doing. Well, I suppose our um. Right side as we move through. Squad four's on the left. The outline solution I thought was gonna be a thing is not a thing. Steve, oh, please do not. Uh, honey, you're gonna, We're gonna take a moment to make sure our formation is nice. We'll space out, boys. Space out, boys. Yeah, honey, you're gonna take one. Oh, wouldn't it be a shame having two? Command one. five. Go for command. I'll be on the left. My drivers are excellent. They have uh, flipped one of the tigers, so we may be a little late to the party. That's okay. We're taking extra time to check our formation. Roger. They flipped a tiger. Let's go inspect this uh, sad state of affairs. Uh, militia, on the other hand, uh, don't know what's happening. And, um... Well, that's a new message. As we move up, let's move along the green line. Cartel, just your guys are in a line as part of that area yeah. formation. Good job. Gotcha. Just like new. Yeah, I mean the gunner seat, buddy. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, seat double. Yeah, FTLs probably shouldn't be in the in the gunner seat. Where are the militia guys anyway? All right, let's go. Let's uh, scroll down here. Rubber Pelican running one of the squads. He's got two Tigers. True Russian. He's squatting. Keep it slow and spread out. Yeah, just now. Bravo, I want you looking towards the southwest. Charlie, towards the south. Try to stay Roger. low as best possible. Oh yeah, now we're uh, now we're third person. Look at that. If we can spot any enemies, that's going to be preferable. I feel like the RPK is just 
a bigger AK that has the capabilities of firing more I rounds. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's just, yeah. Man, man, Pete, realizing the the uh, the simplicity of the Russian weapon design. You know what? We're gonna go on a hunt for where the heck militia are, because they have to be militia have a difficult role. They have to anticipate any of the missions that Russia are doing. Hey, platoon, did we have audio on that explosion somewhere to the southwest? I did not hear anything. Okay, so there was a vehicle, Lima 86, that exploded. I saw it on, you can see it on the map there. Apparently, they called a vehicle, they called it an explosion. Uh, we do have Fulcrum. Four for command. Fulcrum's gonna squad here, and he's rolling. To our west, or are we gonna continue to the road? He's rolling east. We're free to utilize the trench. I want squad three to get up close to the road. Something to note, our uh, formation here does not need to be super tight. It may be better if we are a little bit looser, larger. Hey look, Ronan's here. Spirit man himself. It's another vehicle cook off. I guess it's a spawn vehicle that just exploded. I have no idea. We also have Harv Squad. I wonder if this is like one of the patrol routes. That they're just covering. Uh... Sorry that they're covering to, you know, block the objective. You spawn the vehicles in on our side. We can see the enemy vehicle. Picking up the oh look, it's Dorf, and he's about ready to find himself next to an exploding vehicle. No, that's... Oh hey, look, an outline, and it worked. Okay. It's because he got in and out of a vehicle, guaranteed. MGC, what's up? Ooh, boy. That vehicle exploded. Russia infantry platoon now... Squad three. On the main road. Uh, not important structures. We need to keep moving. Yeah, we're pushing forward. Militia is still in a pretty defensive posture. Uh, one of the reasons why that could be a problem is this fog. As you can see, it is rather severe. South. That's vehicle spawn bug when uh, when the vehicle spawn together closely. Is that an admin spoiling the fun? No, it was all Wandy. Okay. Square three, you are falling behind. I need you to pick it up. Three supposed to be on the uh, north side here. And everybody's moving. Please do. Decker is prioritizing keeping the formation together. As Squad 5 moves a vehicle and a fire team onto the road. I gotcha. In order to maintain during over curves, inside curve needs to slow down and outside curve needs to speed up. It's just how it works. Uh, militia. Yep. You got to give me more of a hint. Not really doing much. Fulcrum's moving his guys around, and it looks like he's gotten a vehicle. Squad five, have you spotted any movement? So there are multiple vehicles. Um, there are multiple vehicles that have been claimed. No eyes on. Squad five has no visual on. Anything. So it looks like uh, they have control of an SPG techie. They also have control of a dish techie. A little more wolf here. Are you good in that Yeah, because this this wreck okay, is a on. problem. Yeah. yeah.
How about there? Oh, hold on. <laughs> there. Just give me directly in the bush. Yeah. I'm sticking out a little Grand bit. Friendly to the northeast or not. The, you're, you're fine where you are. The, it will be difficult to see you. That's a lot of friendlies. You have yep. a good view? I guess so. Alright guys, just keep your right. eyes out. See what we can see. Let me check, make sure. Six. Yeah, or more. Yeah, stencils not Command doing one. anything. That's great. <laughs> you know, I uh, I'm gonna have to disappoint our uh, mod dev team lead. I guess the stencil fix is not in. OWI, please fix. Russia doing pretty good right now. Uh, one objective technically down. The second one is going to be here. Then I believe. All right, we're going to continue up to the start of the intersection. Squad four will take the southern section intersection. Squad three the north. Yeah, you might need to scoot back or forward a little. Third, bit. fourth. Squad two will to the to to place okay, so radio equipment in the southern compound. What happened? What? To low right. visibility, I want to make sure that we have at least one person who can see the tree lines on the extent. That's good. Copy. Remember, Squad 4, you should be holding southern security, which means you should be seeing over the berm that we're in. Uh, we're just chilling here, so... Copy that, Command. Hope you guys are having a good afternoon, morning afternoon depending on where you are uh to go ahead and follow squad four to south let's get this place captured quick no resistance from militia on the second point of the patrol we do not need to clear the entire area we just need to place a fob at the location got it Beautiful day for a lockdown. Cypher has the right of it, I think. Although the weather's actually picking up around here, it's actually you know, okay, 70s with my binoculars. plus in the day. Of course, the compound. a front came through overnight last night, so... Yeah. But it's still coming through, so... Great chance for it to rain on the parade, as it were. Oh, look at this. Tactical... Tactical uh, road crossing here. I'm in sledge with the. All right, I'm still looking on the road. With the binox out. If uh, you and Saber right. want to get eyes looking um, west south. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking uh, west south. Uh, six, we're holding position right now. Fire position. Copy that six. Most of my southwest is blocked by this bush. Squad five, go ahead. Saber, you able to see southwest? Oh, 32 over there. There, there, you go. there you go. There you go. Yeah, it's uh. Right, if you look west, then I'll. I guess uh, equivalent would be 20. Southwest angle. Perfect. Hey, uh, command, we're gonna run past you. We have no visibility to cover the guys on the flank. 23. Yeah, best I can get. 23, 24 degrees here today. Not to cover, but to have our uh, west, south, west. 25 was supposed to be a high, but. Me. It's also supposed to be weird cloudy all day. We got the other squad. All right, so. This is just going to be a long operation. I'll reconnect with us. Go ahead and start moving west. Hey, firm. 26. Yeah, y'all got that. Uh, y'all got that uh, clear skies and dry weather out there. Scary is too easy. Uh, meanwhile, here in the East Coast, middle of the East Coast, we're uh, turns out uh, we're banking all the moisture you guys aren't actually experiencing. I imagine. We finish our entire patrol. 
<laughs> You're right. All right, we got some uh, movement here. SPG from Meeps or from Meep. I don't know why it's Meep so because lead speak. I don't know. It's just Meep. Uh, we do have Squad Five, Fulcrum Squad got in a transport techie, and they have a dish techie. Uh, on the way past the second, or past the third point in the patrol. This is a patrol op for Russia, for just joining us. Russia are moving sort of counterclockwise counter around Gordok, uh, area of operations here. Uh, point one secured, or they start from here, point one secured. I believe this is point two here, and then point three. And they hold out at the last point, uh, Golf 12. Uh, militia. I don't think Militia have eyes on this. There's no way. There's so much fog. And no one has been spotted. Uh, Russia have uh, two Tiger uh, light armor support. Copy that. Not really light armor. Mechanized support, I guess. No, it's not mechanized either. It's motorized. But uh, meanwhile, Russia in a pretty coherent formation. It's relatively tight. Everyone is within about uh, 300 meters of each other. Moving in a moving in formation here. It's relatively clean. Um, we should be clear from fission if we take yeah. it along the road. I think those hills towards the village will block efficient oh baby yeah thinking see we're just running in what do you do a little bit of uh we're gonna take depression road. here hills will block us the hills will block us uh meanwhile rubba and his motorized element have leapfrog significantly And we're starting to see more militia on the map here. I think they're crazy. Yeah, right? I think they're doing it crazy. Immersion! Now my ankles are wet. Right. Do you want to look at the village one more time? More complaints about your ankles, Lemon Sledge. My immersion demands it. I am the medic. He, the medic's gonna have trench foot. I'm gonna have to roll the people. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. All the casualties. Hold security on the down ball. Uh, platoon. Get to Steve, oh, do you wanna go sweep it? Negative. Okay. Band. Go for it. I'm waiting for all these, um, all these Someone's gonna die, ourselves. and I don't want to be him. Correct. And now four is behind the formation. Meanwhile, three crouch walking through a field. Good time to write my will. Here's my well. Burn it all. Base. It's gonna take forever if we yeah. this whole thing. First person to delete my internet search history gets all my belongings. Hello, I don't want my internet search history deleted. That's why we need our stamina. Uh, yeah, apparently, um... There's a prize for someone's search history? I don't understand. When you have nothing to do, you get the... Sometimes you get the funniest things happening. Go ahead. Yeah, the faster we move here, the harder it is for my Bravo element to keep security to our south. Copy that. I'd rather tend towards security than towards speed. Go at the pace you feel you can hold security. 
All right, and here we go. The uh, things are about to change. We've got Lagar and uh, was it uh, Despot Depaka? They're running up this road and a shot fired. Was that ND? Was that ND? Oh, they call it an ND. That might, uh, Anna, what? That was not us, that was Southwest. I'm sorry. Southwest or Friday? No, it was, it was Lemon. Double ND. Double ND? Why is... That was a friendly you. shout as well. All right, that was There's an ND in that the middle. That was why we up then. Oh my god. All right, let's, uh, let's double time it through the next section, guys. Hey guys, it's fine, let's go. Let's just get out of here. It's safe. So someone shot... Frag. What? Oh my gosh. Well, I'll blame Saber for that. Confirm yeah. Somebody just launched a GL. Negative. That was Lemon Sledge throwing a grenade accidentally in response to possible contact. 100 meters? Which was, in fact. No, he threw it into the village to our due south. Copy. Our audio must be bugged. Well, they do kind of sound the same. But I think that's a squad issue. Militia forces are here, and but they're in buddy pairs. They're all spread out. Got a buddy pair, or sorry, a fire team element north of the road here. But Raggy's keeping his guys rolling around south side. Now, they're meant, I think the Russians are meant to be turning south around Golf 10. Or sorry, at Golf 8, they're going to roll south here. Yeah. Command 5, I really don't want to push that way. Uh, I think since we're already clearing this direction, the better course of action would be for me to push south, parallel to you. That works for me. Go ahead. So it looks like the motorized element's just going to roll straight south. We'll do that once you're Which could be good. Uh, Please do your best. They might have... But the problem is, they're going to be, they're sort of advancing the wrong side of the element, right? If the main element is approaching Golf 8 South, and they're, say, coming down from Hotel 7 South, they sort of alert more people We're not quite fast enough. to the main force, because they're sort of like, they're creating more sound closer to where, you know, more uh, militia are, so... It's an interesting idea. Once these guys start moving, Raggy is definitely going to turn around and have his guys collapse on this element. So, Rather's got his chaps about ready to be in for a large fight. Probably about two or three minutes away from that. Vehicles are moving now. Raggy's still moving northeast. a small change of plans let's cut south at golf eight and we'll utilize that road and go straight south from there so they're just going to run straight off the little farm here so remember that this means that the formation will be traveling south which means squad four is covering eastern security squad three is covering western security use that. they're going to turn the whole formation 90 degrees to the left they're going to take it back down. No, I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm saying that for. I'm losing my mind. They are passing pretty close. The uh, El Toasty Pop Tar Manau and Ishmi. Uh, hold movement, hold security while squad three if is around. It wasn't foggy, might have eyes on this, and they are moving right down the road, and oh boy. Squad two, I want you in the pocket. Mill going to get some kills here if Ishmi is not running with Binox out, which of course he is, so. Let's see what happens when Ishmi comes up over this hill, because he's gonna be like, oh my gosh, the Russians. And he might have seen them already, and he has. And he has switched to his uh, rifle. And he's looking for things to do. That's probably gonna include finding a place for his uh, AR to get multiple kills.
There's a chance they may have just built a super fob at our last point. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, I probably have their whole platoon just sitting. Yeah, so there we go. Surprise, we, we haven't What's been. That contact? Never Come on. Indy. Man, what? more Indies from Russia. They're not taking it, they're not making it easy. Don't put their finger on the trigger. Squad two is probably gonna be like, oh, what? West and then go up the. Is a rather Scottish champ. And I believe, yeah, this is this is a sick position right here. If Russia moves out in the open and just run towards this structure, I. I want to go a little bit west as we go, so we have cover. My understanding is that's a totally open field. Yeah. So, squad four, can you confirm? What that? cover they're gonna find though? They're not gonna find any cover. They're gonna get shot at starting soon. Squad three, go ahead and move west. Squad two, let's move a little bit west and then uh, cut in. Three. Yeah, no, this is bad. Here we go. Major Reno out by air by himself. And Majorino got spotted crawling. Squad three, four, six. Squad five. Here comes the Russians. Majorino hit it twice now. And I don't think he's going to survive finding actual cover unless he starts bandaging right now. Which he's not. F's out in chat for Major Reno. Wait, I guess he did bandage. Oh, there you go, he gets a kill. I thought uh, he was done for. Two bullets can't stop him. Fluffs is dead too. Russia not faring well crossing the open field like you do. Take a look at the element here. Where's that motorized group? Only two kills. Salt the toast here with uh, Sharpie. Shit, I'm just firing at the trees. Yeah. Try to move up just a little bit here. Yeah, yeah. Right, we have smoke. Russia trying to uh, figure out where to go as the entire militia force now collapses uh, on the remainder of the Russian patrol path. And it looks like uh, Scottish Chap is deciding to pull out here. I understand that your guy went down. I need you to provide suppressing fire squad three and four with us. We are taking the info. Provide suppressing fire to the buildings on your, uh, to your east. Please do not shoot friendlies. Shoot south of friendly positions. Reports enemies are falling back south out of the village. Squad three, let's let's shove in there. Get up, let's go. And uh looks like Russians already in the area. It's clear. Going right right, blue, I want this area clear. Squad five, you go for it. Uh, begin moving south. Pie it. Try to see if there's any clear. context in the eastern section of those. So uh, it's funny, that's that's some saver trying to use some CQC tactics there. That's not calling high, calling low. No good. Copy that. Provide some, uh, try to provide some overwatch. There's still a trailing element. Clear slowly. Uh, Wandy has a fire team directly northwest of him. Squad six, go ahead and maneuver. Militia, on the other hand, uh, area. consolidating. Squad six, obviously. Squad two, follow up, squad three. They're getting ready for a sweep, uh, east to west here. Through 
the town. Squad three, squad four. Proceed south of the town. Let's Motorized go. element for Russia is holding back, and there's another Let's element. The, uh, or that's the rest of Raggy's guys. What are they shooting at? They're suppressing the village. So they're shooting over their friendlies into the village. That their uh, friendlies now occupy. Very cool. And Alwandi is uh, just dead from the fire team. It's Pop Tart Ishmi and uh, Manau. Uh oh, SPG Techie. Five, I need you to move immediately to us, if possible. Squad six, I need you. To oh, everything's breaking off now. It looks like militia trying to throw in their uh, their light assets. We're trying. We're suppressing the guys to the northwest right now. Get into the compound. You'll provide so better suppression from there. I could one. We cannot stay here. Squad three and squad four, we are going to continue south and get out of here. And I guess that vehicle's gone because enemy contacted the big rip. building to our south. And looks like Scottish hasn't fallen completely out of the village. It's now been reinforced by squad three. Harv's moving in with his guys. Is there any contact? Russia hitting a hard wall here. Does anyone have any contact to the west? And Russians are dying left and right. Grenades flying. So they're gonna zigzag out of here. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's the schoolhouse. It's the schoolhouse of one four six from here. This is sick. Koba's gonna get some actual kills once these people come around this corner. It's a great position. Final objective. We will expect contact there. Squad five, please. Meanwhile, it looks like <laughs> that's so great. Ishmi's fire team actually makes it out. I'm trying to get Russia to move here. Uh, six kills for Russia, 11 for Mill. Mill down to three quarters, or sorry, Russia down to three quarters strength. My medic is still up, right? Yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. I had a risky to get to you guys then. And Russia is still relatively spread out here across this village. Taking sporadic fire. Oh, Shit. And it looks like we're gonna get a uh, smoke mortar mission here. And here it comes. Militia know the jig is up and they're trying to displace too. Yeah. All right. Oh, this is a trap. Harvest got his guys over here waiting for them. Dorf just gets tagged. Decker by himself leading the platoon out front. Yeah, it's a good thing Dorf has a medic right beside him. I suggest we just push straight through them. We've got a full platoon here. We're gonna have to kind of push through Fox 10, you're right. And here comes Russia command as ordered. Uh, squad Not one step backwards. Pressing the lo locations at Fox 10. Squad 4, push into them. Oh, 
Bojo Loco. Way out front and is being shot by his own guys. Killed Mick though. It looked like uh, he got shot by his own guys. Huh? It's hard to tell. the vehicles here so some lights are definitely going to come out for this Vic oh boy Copy. what a time to run out of ammo yeah, they don't have GLs let me know you want Steve was trying to figure out the. Uh, Steve was just gonna push in. And he gets shot. Hey, Thank you. Steve was still bleeding. Militia have uh, a superior position here, and they're starting to move more in. But looks like another one dies trying to cross the road. Gordo needs to start suppressing with that uh, MMG. Charlie Fox rolling straight up to the building. He's been hit twice though because basket of puppies just sitting there. And what are these guys doing? Why are they still here? It's the other vehicle. I guess they don't have a. Uh, it's the other vehicle fire team. I guess they've abandoned it. No, it's there's both of them. I'm so confused. Why are these guys here? Steve died. Squad five, we need that infantry support. Stand by. I recognize their holes some security. But we Break. cannot Break. Where is he? Command five. We have Second infantry contact the direct house. north at my are engaging. They're getting run up on Scope Sergeant or Raggy's got a fire team running straight up on Freestalker here. Looks like in the north, four guys are just having problems. Uh, this is not the active engagement I thought there was. Raggy in the open. Uh, Scope Sergeant. Yeah, I hear footsteps. What is happening? Footsteps on my building. Oh. Well, it's through the bush. Mam and Pete and uh, Jack. Score kill. Chucking a grenade. Chucking a grenade. Okay. I'm in my head, please. And scope dead. The pocket dead. Well, I don't even think he was meant to be aiming that far. Jack gets spammed and then another trade. This time Ishmi, the fire team originally in the north, has come back to save him. Bartok. And uh wait, hold on, where's Bartok? Okay, Bartok's over here looking for people to shoot. Bartok and Freestock are the only ones left up here, and Bartok's dead. And Russia still losing out. 32 kills now for Mill. So it looks like critical mass has been achieved. To the south and to the eastern combo. Militia Copy. zigged perfectly Execute. when Russia zigged. I'm going to push straight through that window. But it really was. There was no choice for Russia. It's almost like one of those forced checkmates. Russia ended up going southwest and militia just preemptively moved into the position. Meanwhile, Russians out shooting militia here. But I don't think the numbers are on their side. And I think Salty just realized he threw a grenade at a ragdoll. Still one outside. There's a copy one outside. Getting harder to tell, but. There's a basement, right, there's, there's probably in the basement. Or do I say, all right. Do you take point? Is there a basement? They're gonna, they're gonna breach and clear the basement. 
Okay, squad five. Team lead is down. Just pre fire. Uh, Clear. Is there one outside? Where's the tiger? Hey, there may be only like three people left. Uh, Matt Honcho. Uh, never mind, he's gone. Looks like he traded with Lundarts. Yeah. Oh, they fucking know we're in here because yeah. we shot so much. Hey, hey, do we need to be contact to the south of the two of us? Roger. Kind of, I say we hold the basement and wait for uh, reinforcements. So wait, where's Selzar? Reinforcements. We'll do our best. That's fine. Yeah, they're gonna come in. We here. have an enemy presence to our north that wiped out most of my uh, squad, so they're gonna be coming from above us too. Oh, there he is. That'll be that. Uh, sorry, Dylan. Do your best to not get flanked. The there's no good position, we're kind of screwed here. We try to hold uh, basics as often as possible, or as often as our schedules allow, for that matter. Uh, cells are... Looks like it's just three Russians remaining. We got Salty Token, Salty Toast, and Decrum. And I don't think anyone's gonna be able to move. I don't have eyes on. Uh, the technical is just rolling. It's back to the south side. Guy and get shit. Uh, I think it's pulled back then. Yeah. Oh, salty gets perforated. Wall to kill salty. The smart. Well, that sucks. That's uh, that's what you do with the dish gun, my guy. And salts are just gonna move up here. He's gonna hop back in the gun. And he gets promptly shot out of it. So Decrum now has to one man the entire operation. And then there was one. Alright, last man. And he gets shot through the wall. Well, uh, that's why you don't use these buildings for actual cover. And yeah, that's GG. Round one, Militia with the right moves to counter Russia's aggression. What are you gonna do? Alright, we'll be right back with round number two very shortly. Alright, so I do believe we're setting up for a green, Operation Green. So let me pull up the rules for this, so... And bring a rally down. Green mission. Russia starts at Juliet 12-4, Lima 8-6, November 9-8. I'm oh, bad, just where I'm standing. Where I'm standing, okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, Not under the bridge, under the bridge, I agree, would be too much. It's kilo 9-8 is where we are. I gave you a bunch of engineers so that you can, uh, have uh, to Wait, bags why? Well. Oh, we're defending. This is red mission. Uh, mortars. Okay, so this is the red mission. So Russia are uh, definitely going to be running out here. So Russia starts anywhere in 89, Julia 9, kilo 9. So we're in kilo 9. Yeah, well, otherwise it's just going to be ringing. Russians spawning in. So we're going to be seeing a defense here. Uh, Russia have... Let's see. Six engineers, full platoon, standard standard squads. Standard squads being two FTLs, two ARs, one medic. Uh, they get a Logi vehicle. So they get one Logi. Wait, they get one Logi, but they have two Logis with the resources. So that's lull. Um, one mortar. Various defensive fort structures. And they also have a smoke barrage. Uh, artillery smoke barrage. Um. No helicopter pilot today. 
so red mission is to build and man a patrol base so they put the uh, radio for this patrol base right here and they've sandwiched it in with the uh, lodgy here the little natural little divot in this uh, creek bed the bridge also gonna be able to cut off stuff because I'm pretty sure you can't get through this bridge without crawling at least under it. Aye. Although I imagine militia are going to be coming from all different directions. We can move out alive. So I do believe Russia are going to start in Kilo 9. Operation document is in the chat if you guys are interested in how our operations are structured. Um, scrolling down, look for anything that says red with a black background and red text. That's the uh, mission that Russia are doing this time around. I believe we're also spread out, so I don't think we're going to be, uh, we're going to be seeing anything as far as a platoon brief. So I might just go ahead and join command comms here. Uh, let's see, what are we going to call this? Radio Free Yurifka. Bada bing, bada bang. Yeah, I was thinking about that, I was like, that didn't sound right. Alright, so Storm in Command of Russia. Here's the man right here, next to his radio, living life. Hey, can we get oddball? This is five. Now. So, I mean, Why do you want oddball? <laughs> oh. Uh. Spoiler alert. My, my squad's actually five, including well, six, including me. <laughs> Office and Reba have just driven past. So they're going to the north spawn point. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay. I wonder if they noticed all the Russians. I I guarantee you they they saw the guys over here. So, you guys uh, ready to defend Kilo 9? Can they hear me? Of course they can hear me. Oh, Fulker must be talking to these guys. <laughs> Sorry, I'll go away. <laughs> allowed to be on and this side of the water also? Oh, yes. Yeah, well, that's going to be up to your fire team lead. Uh, to begin with, sure. Okay. Uh, but uh, our responsibility is to defend the, the FOB. If it, if, you know, Landart's on defense. Uh, I want you guys being prepared to fall back. Yes. Anyway, um, yeah, they got burned. All right, I got to get a resupply. They got a new You want to put your bags in place. There are some uh, ready-made stuff already. Maybe you can make uh, some extra use of. So, for instance, here. It says no. So it looks like they're going to be on base defense and building. Raggy squad, northeast side. I think they're going to bust out pretty fast here. They have a mission. They're going to run for the... Uh, Got that. They're going to run for the uh, vehicles over here. Which is smart. There's a Dishkateki and a Lodgy. I don't think militia get build get to build anything being a fire team leader but the only reason i like being one is because you get binoculars rebel fire base oh they have a platoon mortar <laughs> well that's important yeah. they have a platoon mortar two hmgs one mortar yeah, binoculars but i guess they can place wherever standard yeah, platoon mortar yeah. <laughs> big yeah so platoon mortar rules the standard platoon mortar for one life ops if you have the build points to rebuild the mortar 
You can move. You can disassemble the mortar and move it to another location. Wanna, for another bridge, we're gonna do sandbags and barbed wire, or just one of the two. So there's three lodges available for militia. They can move that thing a lot. He went over the bridge, yeah. The other side of the coin is if they're really sneaky, freaky. They can build an HMG, like say, <laughs> they could build an HMG here and just suppress the entire area. But I don't think they're gonna do that. That's a little ballsy. It's a little crazy. Get them. We probably should just ban them. Everyone, make sure yeah. you keep your spread. Ah! 360. All, All right, good luck. Let's go. Well, see ya, Bye, 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 All right. You know, you just gotta interact with some people sometimes. You just gotta be sociable. All right, so Russia is running out here like crazy. Uh, two squads north, and they're running straight south. Uh. Oh, well, one's running west, one's running, runs running, one's running south. Words. One of them, you got confused. Selzar. He lived so long in the, uh, in the Tiger last round that, uh, he's disoriented. Maybe Robo Pelican's also disoriented. Or maybe Chiba Brother is just trying to find an elevated, uh, position here on the road. Uh, you know, it could be anything. Meanwhile, uh, Raggy's already gone to camp the vehicles nearby. We have engineers all building all sorts of things here in the fob radius. They're reinforcing the radio. Got the uh, Harv squad taking up residence at this very popular corner right here. Village, Kilo 84. Right, this guy's chap defending the western lowlands and five pushing to the main intersection here on you up the hill and we're going to go ahead and zoom on over to the vehicle cache where two squads of militia are starting to close in and something tells me Russia are not quite set for this yet. Militia now within 100 meters. But now it's going to get to this window and he's going to be like, oh my gosh, where do I keep, or what is our, my RPK set? Okay, so he doesn't actually see anyone yet. Although if he was really eagle-eyed, he'd see Polish Serb over there on his left. He's trying to find a good place to put that RPK. Oh, does he see Polo Serb? I think he does. He's reporting over squad, the contact. And he's set back up. Yeah, he definitely saw Polo Serb and Polo Serb definitely saw him. Elite is also visible. And Raggy calling it out. Elite has an RPG loaded. Inflict maximum pain. <laughs> inflict maximum pain in before elite throws a frag rocket straight through this window and kills Manau yeah he's definitely not going to look out those windows anymore I wonder if he saw elite with his tube aimed towards him which way are they heading? they heading uh, west? two squads worth directly north of four and a harv could very easily move East here. We're currently just hiding in the buildings and waiting for to come and take us out. Meanwhile, Cap some vehicles have been rescued. Fluffs got a uh, our, uh, SPG techie. Squad five moving up the MSR east side. Probably gonna try to probably gonna rescue the vehicles here defensive and I think militia know that for sure now because of their spawn location and the contact they've already got so 
we're probably going to see Militia Firebase come up. The question is, where do you put it? And the answer is here <laughs> or, uh, or here. Considering the vehicles that they have, I would imagine uh, somewhere in this vicinity. Although Squad 5 is in a prime position to hunt down the platoon mortar for militia. Uh, meanwhile, militia, two squads online, I wonder what they're doing. They definitely know they're here, though. This is a very, very safe posture. They're just waiting. You see Elite with his frag rocket loaded. Gimletron has, an, uh, has a PKM looking for people to shoot. Manal is moving. I wonder if Elite's going to take a shot here. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Frag, oh, I, maybe he doesn't see. It's very difficult to see at this distance. Especially through the field. The camera might actually be a little bit lower, but... Nine, so I don't have any of your Western coverage. A little bit of repositioning here from Militia. My bad. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like we're going to see a east to west attack here for militia forming vehicles moving along one of the access roads to the main highway here in the east. So that's one, two, three, four elements accounted for. <laughs> and uh, No Mike spun out a transport techie. Big laugh. Uh, and there's command, question mark. No, it's just another squad lead. Decorum commanding the backside. So there's two elements here. So that's all five militia elements accounted for. Steve-O moving for the vehicles, stashed in November 9-8. And uh, Rubber Pelican and uh, Hovis holding the line here, northeast of the Russian patrol base. Uh, two. Oh, they punched in. Whoa, they punched straight into Manal's building. That's not good. He's got an RPK. Wait, the guy looked through the window and didn't see him? What? There's no way. All right, Manal. Hovis is dead. Squad lead down. And Exoskeleton responds, shooting Manal through the window. Uh, Jikazuki got tagged from his south. The first casualties have been traded here in round two. Frag rockets coming in on Ishmi, but uh, no joy, and it looks like the attack is coming on in. Squad are moving through. Frag's coming out. Squad three also moving in from the northwest side here. And Militia have the north side locked down. Russia taking some more casualties here. Scope Sergeant goes down, four down to a fire team size element. Legar not able to do anything from the from the hill he's on back here. Too much, too much foliage in the way, I think. And I think Raggy is stuck here and he's gonna have to camp the vehicles. Uh, meanwhile, Militia closing in on Ishmi. Ishmi in a building here by himself. He's watching a door. Um, but if they walk up on this window to clear this building before they come around to the entrance. Oh, there is a back entrance. Never mind. They maybe they won't do that. Anyone run the mortar down there? Got a uh, got a guy hitching the uh... Wait, skeleton come through the front door? There is no door over here. 
He jumped through the window? Okay. Well, Ishmi's dead, and uh, Skeleton dies for it. Either that or Skeleton ran over here and I just didn't catch it. And uh, Londart's going to throw some rounds here. Get the mortar up and running. Yeah. Pretty bad positioning. Well, I think... it. First of all, it's two squads versus one. Uh, secondly, I think there were more Russians in the open down here south side of the village than I than I thought originally. Raggy down to like three guys now, and uh, Depaka has been spotted. They're throwing grenades this direction. He's getting suppressed. He's not gonna be able to really do anything. Uh, Raggy and Legar need to do something. Squad 2, Polish Serb, I think, is now running Squad 2. And, uh, he's running straight over. Yeah, he got the, he's got the smoke grenade launcher, uh, on his AK here. Uh, it's a matter of time before they close on the Pacas building here. Ah, uh, Ishmi. Yeah, you, uh... It's sad, but, uh... You got outnumbered. There wasn't really anything you could do. Copy that. No, once your, once your uh, buddy in the north got spotted, uh, it was game over for you guys in the uh, east village, I think. Makan, thanks for the kind words. Russians falling back here. Or sorry, militia falling back here. So plan B was fight? Yeah, I don't know. Raggy's stuck. Copy that. Although I would definitely try to make a run for it. Mortar's coming out though. Maybe the mortars will get some kills. We'll see. Lawn darts on the mortar, I imagine. Yep. Uh, the main attack is now forming to the east. SPG Techie on the hill. Squad two, command. Is that a mortar landing far? Oh, the mortar is landing really far. You just now realize this? Yes. Oh, it's fine because um, most of what they should be driving. And here we go. They're closing in on Raggy's position. They're not clearing everything. What is Chica Zika shooting at there? Uh, but to be fair, we didn't find an Raggy calling in on. Uh, Trying to call in some danger close mortars. These mortars are way off. There must be some elevation that Londar's not accounting for. The Vic's on the grid, Lima 864. We're gonna be covering soon. Here we go. Raggy still holding this tight corner. Nobody coming into the check, but uh, he's gonna get a kill. Jikazook. Raggy gets two. Raggy gets three, and he's been shot. He's got a bandage. Couldn't pistol Polish Serb over the wall. Raggy gets three. And there's AR, Lagar gets Polish Serb. Oh, look at this angle. If Lagar was watching, I think he would have caused a lot more confusion. That's a really great angle, though. Legar could definitely get some kills. Where are the mortars landing? Wait. Are those militia mortars landing on the base? Lawn darts is still shooting. Uh, 
mortars are still not on target. Where are the mortars landing? I don't even see the explosion. Londards is pointing this way. Oh. Okay, so Londards' mortars are off by 500 meters. Yeah. Londards' mortars are off by 500 meters. I guess he's misread his calculator. I don't know. We're going to take a look at this swamp here. Lagar falling back. Fulcrum's guys are punched out to the east here. Uh, let's take a look at Alwandi. He's got a fire team on the edge of the swamp. All squads be advised. That could just be a couple squad element. Be uh, on the lookout for any forces in the air. Sounds like a techies. Copy that. Oh, and the audio, they're moving, they're moving the uh, assets out. So it's a Dishkateki now in militia possession plus one more Lanji. That's a lot of build and ammo. The mortar fire base is going to come up here and it's already been built. Let's take a look at that real quick. Then we'll take a little bit closer look at the... Uh, oh, Skelly. <laughs> what fun. Sorry, bruh. You, uh... Did you jump through that window or did you go through the door? It looked like you jumped through the window. Or maybe you just ran through my camera. Because I was in the doorway to that room looking in. And it looks like they're going to get uh, through the door. Okay. I don't know why I thought you would jump through the window. Uh, very interesting position for this SPD techie. So it looks like, yeah, they're all going to come out. They're going to wrap around south side here, clockwise. And the Lodgy is going to come straight in and reinforce the firebase with more ammo. This is fine. The village has been quiet since it's shooting stop. We're going to back up to Alwandi. Uh, I got information that they retrieved one or two lodges, so they could set up a fire base at any point in time. Yep, so... Just uh, keep your eyes 360, guys. We're pretty much waiting on them now. Yeah, you guys didn't quite trade, but uh, Ishmi got definitely got the drop on you. I don't know. I guess all the elements are here. Steve-O, four, Decrum. Sorry, we're playing a little bit of a uh, map mode squad here. Awandi uh, has Matt Honcho punching out towards the edge of the swamp. So, start building IDS. Do you want five to stay in pause, or do you want us to move to south to K10 again? AK hey, hey, squad. Uh, uh, I mean, intervention squad. Yes and no. Copy. Alwandi looking for people. Uh, closest contact is Oddball in a bunch of rush. Squad 2 has uh, put our heads together and we came up with a solution if they have an MPLB. Okay, what's the solution? Uh, we're going to drop the C4 onto the engineer's chest and run at them Banzai. What? I like this plan. It's not a solution. Can you plant C4 in a friendly? Of course. I don't think you can do that. It'd be kind of funny, but I don't think you can. Uh, it's whatever. 
Scottish watching nothing here in the west side of the map as the east and south start to form here. Alwandi's pushed himself towards the edge of the swamp. And uh, it looks like he's getting his guys plus a Dishkateki. Part of squad three is rolling over here. Squad and a half size four is plus a Vic. Could be good. It's probably a nice way to start the engagement here on the uh, on the east side. You know, more than the sleep thing, uh, I think it's the pressure. It's the weather getting to me. I just realized it's overcast. You know. <laughs> stuff we're just waiting on them to move first because we don't want to make a mistake here so it looks like oh, let's get a count here it's six for mill eight kills for russia the uh i didn't realize russia got that many kills hovis down to two guy or hovis is dead gimli and toasty are the only ones that are left cells are running only four people in his squad, so squads two and three are pretty much down to fire team size strength. Valhalla. Uh, Alwandi's got a fire team plus size element with him. That's just why he's getting reinforced with a fire team from the Vix. The, the vehicles. Uh, this must be the hodgepodge of everyone else that's alive. Uh, that that came back from rather the uh, the northeast attack. Storms coming. I feel it in my bones. Southeast possible. They're wrapping around the pond. Right, sir. Can I can I drop mortars on the east side of the pond? Go ahead. All right, let's see here. Lawn is a little sure. Oh, okay. These mortars might be on bearing. Let's see if Lawn puts them on target this time. Danger close. Mortar fire mission. Hope. Headbust is. Oh, no. Headbust is going through the swamp. Mortar is pretty much on target. Definitely enough spread. Uh, Patrick, Patrick got a. Uh, Put him danger close on. Uh, Patrick got a bit of a hit there. Three, three, one. More mortars. Patrick dies to a mortar. Sharpie gets majorly hit. Contact movement south, south of the fog bar on the hill. And looks like they spotted squad six plus probably the SPG techie. And there's a disc techie in tow. Meanwhile, Matt Honcho also gets into the swamp. Headbuster is moving pretty close here. Alright, give him some fire, kilo 10 9. Honcho trying to crawl out of the swamp and he gets there and he stands up and starts running. Does Burger see him? Yes, he does. Meanwhile, looks like we've got some shots popping off south side. They found the elevated position on the hill. Mortars. A little far. RPGs flying now. Oh, Raf gets killed. And here comes the Dishka Techie. I think it was the SPG Techie actually that shot there. Viper and JV suppressed in the village here. Mortars landing pretty close. Captain Chuck. Lawn darts with more mortar kills. He's racking them up. And here comes 
Looks like we got Scottish is going to do an in run. SBG firing. And it looks like we're getting a, uh, a smoke mortars. I think militia are adding smoke mortars. Pretty smart. I see with the MG3. Look at the. Look at that model artifact. Is that his ear? Saber clearly being puppeted by the mastermind. I think some Ruskies got spotted over here east side. Headbuster engaging. Trying to fight all Wadi here, but the. Uh, yeah. Wadi actually gets tacked. Got Grenades being thrown. Grenade. He runs into the grenade, but uh, doesn't die. Good on Headbuster. East side, it's just three guys versus a squad plus. Militia making progress down the hill, but the mortars continue adding the pain here for Militia. And it looks like we have Harv is about ready to ambush. Yeah, and there goes Gorgadil. Gunner down on the techie. Lemon Sledge gets shot out as well. So that's one Dishkateki down, but not out. Fulcrum got zipped. Could have been Stevo. Mortars laying extremely close to Saber. Bartok drove up on the guys in the east and it looks like he's dead. I guess uh, Oddball responsible for that kill and Headbusta is uh, Wait uh, A little bit more shot there to uh, Ooh, and it looks like the I guess the main attack force for militia here has been surrounded 18 kills for Russia, only 10 for Militia. Which is kind of crazy considering Militia's position. It's pretty strong, but there's a lot of people in the way. SPG Techie firing shots over, but uh, SPG Techie needs to move. It's about ready to be clapped from behind. Meanwhile, Russian infantry. Cartel's dead. Saber is uh, also now dead. Snippity snap. Running away. Charlie Foxtrot has found cover. El Bojo Loco has found a little depression here. Nightmare. Kills Dwarf. What a shot. Using the Russians' own uh, defenses against them. Meanwhile, Stevo has basically walked up to the fob by himself. Casualties coming in as mortars start falling, Russian and militia mortars. Stevo, I think he's ink. He's throwing a grenade, and it goes too far. Russian attack. Or oh, sorry, militia attack is uh, starting to realize here. They don't have the numbers to sustain though. Mortars are almost on target, so I imagine that's Stevo talking them onto target. Here we go. 
Mortars are meters away from lawn darts. A little bit of a, uh, a little bit of range. Oh, <laughs> danger close mortars. The tube is virtually vertical. Is that trace in this game? Mortars just need to come a little left and a little bit more uh, range. They're just suppressing the swamp bed right now. Steve-O gets tagged. Maybe Lib responsible for that. Maybe not though. Charlie Foxtrot and Steve are just hanging here. Command infantry immediately to your southwest between you and the medic. Storming a firefight with uh, nightmare. Grenade thrown, and I don't know if Storm is going to get out of that range. No, the grenade is actually far. Warriors are starting to destroy vehicles, and Storm is dead. In the middle of a report. Londards is also dead. The mortars finally zeroed in on him. Probably thanks to Steve-O communicating that. Lots of dead people here. Burger kills Nightmare from behind, emerging from the swamp, and then Alwandi just runs him, runs him over. Oddball kills Alwandi. Oddball's got a great position here, and he goes back into the swamp. Oddball becomes Swamp Man. Freestalker runs straight at him, but uh, isn't able to do anything. <laughs> Well, that's what he's doing. Nix ends up taking Oddball from behind. There's still a considerable organized Russian force here south, and they're just closing the door on militia. The only one left is uh, Dekram, the commander, on the mortar. Head busting Lib surviving in the middle of mortar craziness. Thank you. Stevo looks like he's charging uh, Geralt and Lagar on the hill. The mortars are actually trying to get him near the near the bridge. And there is more than one person using the restream chat. That's why you're seeing messages, multiple messages pop up potentially. Uh, oh, Bojo Loco gets Goose. And he's looking for more. He may have just got Basket of Puppies. Pretty crazy. He got stuck out here after the uh, Russia attack from the south came in. And I think Russians are trying to throw grenades on this. On this, yeah, that was a good throw. A bolo loco eats a grenade face first. Meanwhile, uh, militia actually basically walking up on on target here, but Stevo. I think he saw Hitbuster. Lib just got tagged. Lib's dead. Charlie Fox trying in some. Headbust is still bleeding? Question mark. No, I think he's. Headbust it with the report. Mill on the bridge. Uh, Mill's still down about ten kills here. Nine kills actually. Russia on tw on thirty two. But militia might actually get the get the job done as far as taking the objective. Granted, it's only with a buddy team. Although there's not really a lot of militia left, Snippity Snap over is about to get overrun. Grenades being thrown. 
lands a little short. Actually, that was uh, Snippity Snap's grenade. Frederick eats it. And Meep, also dead. Snippity Snap is just hiding behind this tree here. Oh, this is risky. He gets hit. Needs to find better cover. And two more bullets take him out of the fight. And I believe we're down to Steve-O dies behind the bridge. So I think it's just Decrim and Charlie Foxtrot. Charlie's hiding underneath a uh, a vehicle like you do. Is the radio being dug down? Radio has been dug down one stage. Needs a second stage for it to go completely down. Uh, it's 60%. And Decrim is now running towards the fight. Charlie Fox kills Head Busta on the objective. Expect to see grenades coming in any moment now. Legar actually is going to throw one. Watch out for, uh, and Charlie survives. The grenade uh, either lands on top of the Lodgy or behind it, and uh, the wheels save him. Decorum still a good uh, 300 meters away from the fight here, but he's going to come in from behind squad one which means he's dead unless he comes in through the swamp and just yolos it although if i was decker i'd probably hop on the the techie you know if you're gonna go out go out in style get a ride all right anyone on this net we are uh we're currently be consolidating back on top and russia doing the smart thing and charlie fox gets seen by fisco at range God knows how. Grenade comes in. I think that's going to get him. And either the grenade did or he got shot. So. Charlie's dead. So it's just Decrum. They might call it here. Yeah, they're going to call it here. Decrum's too far away. Russia. Defend. 35 kills to 25. And uh, that'll that is going to do it for us today. Thank you guys for watching.